Hello and welcome back to the Robotnik Success Show. We make potato cam videos about Ultra Sun and Moon or whatever current metagame is the most current Pokemon Wi Fi battles. This is going to be a passerby he had on Festival Plaza. His name is Dante. He really likes Suicune and I fought him a bunch of times. I'm using my, um,. Mega Venusaur, Crumbominable, Hoopa team, I guess you could call it. And let's get it started. Let's go. Let's go. We can, we can do it. So. I'm going to lead with Hoopa. He's going to lead with Charizard. This works out for me pretty well, because I think I just, um, go for the... Big old, big old, uh, glory hole move. Uh, I should be quicker than his, uh, Charizard, Mega Charizard Y, because I'm choice scarfed. And this works out for me because my special defense is really high, so if he goes flamethrower or fire blast, I should live it, even with the sun. And, um, the glory hole move only lowers my defense, so my special defense is intact. Gonna get hit by that flamethrower does a lot, but we're still alive. He's gonna switch out, wanting to keep Charizard. And this works out for him, because he could Pursuit kill me with Tranitar. I'm a little afraid I didn't turn the mic on, but we're gonna record the rest of this. This is good old, good old high-quality YouTube content, you know. We're gonna get, unleash the glory holes upon the Tranitar. It does a nice little chunk. Some decent damage, it's resisted, but it's a very high base damage move and it's stab so you know good, good, good stuff he doesn't pursue me so that's really nice um, we're gonna go into Garchomp and he's gonna Dragon Dance oh Dragon Dance not even a stealth rock huh this this guy's t um, playing really interesting so far so he can oh okay <laughs> there is actually no reason to ever run Dragon Claw on a Tyranitar, so this passerby is just kind of like random bad. But we take those, as they say. So he's going to get hit by um, uh, two types of damages, uh, the Rocky Helmet and the Rough Skin, and then I take him down with the Earthquake. And yeah, it doesn't really damage the uh, tanky Garchomp too much. Not really. So Suicune is in here. I have half a mind to stay in and Dragon Tail this thing. Uh, we Stealth Rock, right, we need those Stealth Rocks, because they're top tier. Always need the Stealth Rocks. So Suicune could take me out with the Scald. Uh, we survive, so that's pretty nice. I am going to be burned. Um, but yeah, I guess I go for a Dragon Tail here, because the damage doesn't matter as much as the fact that I'm dragging out the Suicune, so it can't boost up on me. This guy could be a cheeky, a cheeky guy and go for the, uh, top, uh, protect here. What ends up happening is I miss my toxic and he goes call mine and I die. So that really sucks. I should have gone with a dragon tail plan, but dragon tail and toxic have the same accuracy. So the, this is pretty much, you know, just as good as each other. So now we're going to go for another toxic. Um, I guess we're going to scout for a possible rest. There's no way to really know what this guy's running because he used dragon claw on Tyranitar. So if he, if he runs Dragon Claw on Titar, he could possibly not have rest on Suicune. I think the chances are pretty decent for that. Uh, he's going to just calm mind up some more as I go down to burn damage. So that's cool. Yeah, Titar goes down. A really, really valuable and good Pokemon. We're going to go into Hoopa. Um, I should be able to uh, trick this guy. Okay, so I'm gonna trick the Suicune, so it cannot boost up against me. This also is great to scout for, uh, uh, rest. Doesn't go for rest. Goes for Scald, knocks me out. So now, he's got a choice Scarf, plus two special attack, plus two special defense Suicune, uh, locked into Scald, which isn't that bad, but I have Mega Venusaur, so... <laughs> pretty bad. It's pretty bad for him now, because um, if you stay in, you're going to probably die to Toxic and Giga Drain. If you switch out, you're going to be locked in at, you know, plus zero, no boosts, just locked into a random move. 
Uh, he ends up staying in. If he does burn me, I don't care. We're actually going to leech seed? Ha ha ha. We could even double leech seed. If I, um, now that I'm looking at this, I think I triple leech seed this guy or something. I think I just leech seed a bunch of times. But yeah, uh, I definitely could kill him with Giga Drain right now, but I think I just hit leech seed a bunch, expecting him to switch. But, kind of like I explained to myself a second ago, if he switches out, he's just going to be uh, weakened considerably, so this is fine. Uh, so yeah, I do connect the Giga Drain. That's nice. The Giggity Drain, as you could say. And I think Poison plus Seed is going to take him out, which is pretty nice. My Venusaur is left at full health, and Suicune is fainted, so that's really nice. Um, I very seldomly get to trick a Scarf on anybody, um, and we got to do it. It's definitely a really good tech still. So, the often seen OU Pokemon Tapu Koko is here. Uh, what are you going to do to me? <laughs> I got ta I, I got uh, poison moves, buddy. You, you're going you're gonna to taunt me up? Uh, how do you like this Sludge Bomb? Oh, I, I actually went Leech Seed. Whoops. <laughs> I could have killed him with Sludge Bomb right there. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. So he's he's going to effectively taunt me. I guess I went Leech Seed there. And now he's going to go for the Z-move. I should have just Sludge Bombed him, of course. He's going to go for a Gigavolt Havoc, which should do about half, I think. As, uh, I'm a pretty bulky Mega Venusaur, but he does have boosts from the terrain and stab and Z-move and all that shit. So yeah, it does about half. Does not really half, but about. So I should have sludge bomb like three turns ago, and like none of this would have happened. But we eventually do sludge bomb and take out Coco, and that's fine. I guess I didn't sludge bomb, and I at least he expected his Jirachi to come out. But yeah, if the guy's running Dragon Claw Titar, you can't really expect sensible moves like that. So you know, that's just my bad. I should have sludge bombed. Um, so he gets up Stealth Rock, which is a pro move with Jirachi, that's good. Um, but Rotom Wash is not afraid of this Pokemon in the slightest. Uh, and he provided the terrain for extra damage um, on my Volt which looks like a max special defense. Jirachi, just based on that damage, because I am offensive Rotom Wash, and I got the terrain up. So that's pretty cool. It's going to Iron Head my max defense meager. No, it doesn't do anything. just rolls off my back. Due to the leftovers, I can tell that I am slower, so Trick Room is looking like a pretty good option right here. Um, yeah, what are you going to do? He's going to Healing Wish, actually. So he Healing Wishes on my Trick Room, which is hilarious. Uh, which Pokemon will he uh, heal? I don't know. Oh! <laughs> I completely forgot that I get... I, oh, Magirna is so fucking broken. I love this Pokemon. It's so tall, too. It's so massive. Its frame doesn't even fit on the screen, as you can tell. So, he, the Healing Wish gives me a Soul Heart boost, and I get up Trick Room. That is pretty dirty. That is pretty nice. So, he's going to Healing Wish Charizard, which makes sense. Um, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. He does take rocks damage, and then, yeah. Uh, kind of bad. <laughs> it's like you healing wish a Pokemon that's going to lose half its health to, uh, to the hazard damage. Not the best. Uh, but yeah, I did get up Trick Room and a special attack boost, which is going to allow me to take out Charizard with a beefed up Volt Switch. Get a useless Soul Heart boost as I uh, return to the Pokeball here. And now I can go into Crab. This is like, okay, so this is pretty textbook, pretty one-dimensional air quotes there, but yeah, unless my opponent is a smart guy and running taunt, there is a decent chance I'll be able to do this pretty much every match with this team, and you guys know I love sweeping with Kerbominable. It's, um, it's a rootin' tootin' good time, so <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna Ice Hammer that uh, fella, and he's going to go down. Um, and I think I'm just going to record another one. Um, actually, you know, um, this will be a shorty. This will be a short one. So if you enjoy this, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, we're going to be back. We're going to be back with more. She, uh, question of the day. Uh, who's your favorite character in Smash Brothers Ultimate? Get back to me. Alright. Pulse!